ورسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول كل بدعة ضلالة It's come to my attention that there may be brothers who come in Ramadan and they've come to Qiyamul Layl and they sit in these durus and so on. And maybe there's some confusion still regarding this Mubtadi', this innovator Yahya Al-Hajuri. My brothers and sisters, don't be deceived by this man. Don't be deceived by those who defend this man. This man is a Mubtadi', he is an innovator outside of the Da'ira of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. I do not know of a single scholar alive today. From the scholars of Ahlul Sunnati, Alim, not the one that he made an Alim, but a true Alim. I do not know a single Alim today who praises him. But I can name to you nearly 40 scholars who have declared him to be Munharif, a misguided deviant. Why? Many things, my brothers and sisters. From them is his accusation against Uthman that Uthman innovated into the religion a second Adhan. This is jahl from his aspect because the Prophet Sallallahu said Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnati al-khulafa al-rashidin al-mahdiin min ba'di Upon you is to follow my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided successors after me. Who are the successors after him? Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman and Ali. Uthman is one of them. And when Uthman radiallahu anhu he instituted this affair any of the sahaba oppose him? Any single one of them? Ijma'a. What are the sources of deen? Kitab, Sunnah, Ijma'a. No one opposed him. Even Al-Albani, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, yes, Uthman did it. And if the same situation arises that arose in the time of Uthman, then we do as Uthman did. Because it is a Sunnah of the Khulafa al-Rashidin al-Mahdiyin min ba'di. After the Prophet sallallahu he also said, his accusation against the Sahaba, he said that the Sahaba radiallahu anhum, that they participated in the assassination and the killing of Uthman. He wrote this in his book, Ahkam al Some of the scholars said that this Ahkam al that he wrote, he has a whole chapter on the errors of the Sahaba. Who from Ahlul Sunnah is going to write a chapter on the errors and the, uh, and, and, and the defects of the Sahaba, radiallahu anhum, except a man who has a sickness in his heart. He wrote a gift for the Rafidah. Wrote a gift for, he should rather write, as Ibn Mas'ud said, tell them to count their own sins. Don't look at other people like the Sahaba, radiallahu anhum. Keep your heart and your tongues clean from the Sahaba. Also, the same... Yahya al-Hajuri, when he talked about the, in, the innovation of Irja, of the Murji'ah, he said the Sahaba were the ones who initiated this bid'ah. Sahaba? Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said that the bid'ah of, the, of Irja is more severe than the bid'ah of the Khawarij because the bid'ah of Irja, it intends and its intent is to demolish the whole of Islam up until no religion remains. So it is worse than the bid'ah of the Khawarij. And who, who does he say began that? He said this was initiated by the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. So this man is a Mubtadi. Upon the tongue of the scholar, Shaykh Rabi, Hafidhullah ta'ala, has two-volume refutation against this man now. Two-volume refutation. Shaykh Abdullah Bukhari has written against him. Shaykh Ubaid al-Jabri has written and spoken against him. The ulama have written books against this man. So now they come into our masjid, wearing, dressing like us, looking like us, trying to join their heels with our heels. And they come with this hypocrisy. His attacks against Sheikh Ubaid. Sheikh Ubaid is from the great ulama of our times. You know, he said about Sheikh Ubaid, the speech of Sheikh Ubaid, he said, it is like the, the, the flatulence of an old woman. In fact, the wording he used in, it was direct filth, uh, gutter language that he used. It is like the breaking of wind of an old woman. The speech of who? Of this great scholar, Sheikh Ubaid. He declared Sheikh Ubaid to be a hisbi and an innovator. Look what he said about Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari. Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari from the ulama of Medina. He said, this man is a juwayhil. This is the language they use against Ahlul Ilm. He said that when uh, they, they wrote some poetry in praise of him. And in attack upon Sheikh Rabi bin Hadi al-Madkhali, one of the great scholars of our times. And in that poetry, what did they say? That the efforts and the da'wah of Rabi bin Hadi has wilted away. And you see in there, mashallah, mashallah. Why? Because this man is deluded. He has, you know, these, these d- delusions of grandeur. That he thinks he's better than what he is. Why? Because Sheikh Mubil rahimahullah died and the maj was left open to him. So somehow this, all, this, all this power and status got to his head that he thought he was big, big, bigger and better than he can say anything about the Sahaba and walk away. You think that Ahlul Sunnah are going to leave you alone whilst you attack Sahaba radiallahu anhum? And he said, whomsoever follows Uthman in the calling of the second Adhan, then he is a Mubtadi'ah. 
So if you follow Uthman, you're an innovator. La ilaha illallah. How can anyone sit in this masjid Salafi and be confused about this shaitan? Don't be confused. It's not because we have any... Wallahi, if it was just us and Yahya, then I don't think there is anyone sitting here today. And I'm looking around. No one sitting here today who knows Yahya al-Hajuri better than myself. No one knows Yahya al-Hajuri better than us sitting here today. And I'm looking. No one. We know him better. We met him. We stayed with him. We lived with him. We walked with him. We traveled with him. We know this man. And in the time, the Maj in the early 90s, that they used to just call him Brother Yahya. That's all he was, Brother Yahya. Then Allah raised him. Well, the raising is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of maybe he had some goodness with him at that time. So he learned and he studied at the feet of Sheikh Muqbil. So he was raised. Then shaitan deceived him. And the scholars tried to correct him. But he allowed this deception to take hold of his heart. And who is the one who controls the hearts? Allah, we can't. The scholars wrote to him. They advised him politely. Sheikh Rabbi, subhanallah. He used to say about Yahya. He said, Yahya, you're a genius. Intellectually, you're a genius. Because you're sharp. Memorize Quran. Memorize Bukhari. You're sharp. Use it in a positive manner, Ya Yahya. Don't attack Ahlul Sunnah. Don't declare them to be innovators. Don't wage war against the people of Sunnah. Rectify your mistakes. How many times, year in and year out, Sheikh Rabi advising, they want to tell link with Sheikh Rabi. Sheikh Rabi said, Khalas. Sheikh Rabi doesn't give telly links in his old age. He said, For the match, I will do it, hoping that Yahya will come back. He will listen. He respects me. He respected Sheikh Rabi. Then when Sheikh Rabi's advice became stronger and stronger, then likewise, his warning against Sheikh Rabi and the scholars who told him to rectify became strong. Arrogant, pride, just like Abu Hassan al-Ma'rabi before him. Just like Ali al-Halabi and so on. My brothers, this deen, this sunnah, that's why Imam Ahmed said that when, when al-Marrudi said to him that the one who dies upon Islam dies upon khair. He said, be quiet. Rather, the one who dies upon Islam and the Sunnah dies upon khair, kulluh. Dies upon every khair. Islam and the Sunnah. This is where all of the khair is. How can you speak against the Sahaba and think that we're going to leave you alone? Would you leave alone someone who speaks against your mother or your father? Falsely slanders them? You wouldn't leave it alone. You'd say, this man has oppressed my parents. Who is there more beloved to me than my parents? They are more beloved to us. Barakallahu fikum. So we will not allow... So if anyone's here with those doubts or those shubahat, then that should clear it for you. Barakallahu feekum. The man left Yemen now. He's living in Mecca, around the corner from a bookstore in Aziziyah. On his own. Khalas. Finished. He, what, he th- what did he think? That the ummah, that the ulama of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah, that all of them would be debased and he would remain standing? What is he? Sheikh al-Islam? What does he think he is? That people are going to leave Sheikh al-Fawzan? When they asked Sheikh Al-Fawzan about, about Yahya Al-Hajuri and they mentioned his errors, one, two, three, four, he said, this man, don't sit with him. Don't sit with him. Don't take from him. The one who accuses Uthman, then know that he's a munharif. He has a, he's possibly, Sheikh Al-Fawzan, he's possibly an infiltrator into Islam who wants to deceive the people. So be careful of these, Barakallahu Fikum. Don't argue with them. Tell them this is our deen. This is the sunnah. You don't like it. There's the door. Barakallahu feekum. We will not tolerate bid'ah in this masjid or the propagation of bid'ah in this masjid. We will not tolerate it. If you want a nice discussion, not an argument, a discussion, you want to bring your shubahat and you want to say, well, actually, I'm still confused about that, then no problem, I'm here. What do you want to say? You want to speak against Sheikh Ubaid, the one who is praised by the ulama and the scholars of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'a, the one who is an alim, a mufti, you want to attack Sheikh Ubaid al-Jabari? No, we will not tolerate it. Because, as Sheikh al-Albani said, when someone said to Sheikh al-Albani, yeah, Sheikh, there's a person who speaks ill of you. Said it to Sheikh al-Albani. Imagine how hard it is. Someone says to you, yeah, Fulan, they speak about you. How should we deal with him? It's hard. It's hard to even answer that question. But Sheikh al-Albani, look, the alim compared to the general folk. He said, if he attacks al-Albani, then why does he attack al-Albani? It is not Al-Albani he is attacking. 
It is the sunnah that Al-Albani is carrying that he is attacking. This is his problem. In which case, make hajr of him. However, if Al-Albani did him something wrong, took his wealth, or slandered him, or did something of that nature in the dunya sense, and I have committed a oppression against him, then agree with him. So why is Al-Albani warned against? What has Al-Albani done to all of these khawarij? What has Al-Albani done to all of these tablighis and ikhwanis? Nothing. They attack him only because of the sunnah that he carries. They attack Sheikh Rabi because of the sunnah that he carries. Ubaid al-Jabri because of the sunnah that he carries. Fawzan, same. Luhidan, same. Abdullah Bukhari, same. They attack them because of the sunnah. So beware, my brothers and sisters, and do not be deceived by these people. Now.